Good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, folks. Uh, before I say any more, don't forget to like and subscribe. Where am I? I'm at home, sat my motor around. Sad life, ain't it? But I'm off uh, away for the weekend. It's now Friday the 20th of May. I'm not sure when this uh, video is going to go on because I've got quite a few videos already done so uh hope you've all had a good weekend it's already gone now by the time you watch it but i hope you've had a good weekend so i'm off to uh, just the other side of eversham it's a place called brooklands it's a lovely site i've been there before this time it's with the birmingham da of the camping and caravan club so i've already done a video on going there and around that area so I won't be doing much might do a little bit of getting there and then I'm going off to Tewkesbury tomorrow to have a look around the Abbey that'll probably be a separate video because hopefully this afternoon I might go on a bit of a walk and I'll include it on this video so I've got my grub in uh, solar generator in uh, everything's put a few clothes and the cameras uh, my laptop uh, everything I need so uh, anyway, I think that's about it. I think I've, I'm sure if I said don't forget to like and subscribe. Please do that. A uh, quick eye to one or two new subscribers have come along. Thanks a lot. Anyway, I'm heading off now. So we'll see you at Brooklyn's. See you in a bit, folks. Hi, greetings, folks. I'm now here at Brooklyn's. Uh, just all parked up. I've parked... Uh, pointing south if you can hear a whirring noise that's a solar generator uh, I've just made myself a coffee it's used 2% uh, of the battery I'll put extra water in the kettle they usually use 1% but uh, I wanted a bit of hot water just to give the sink a clean out it was already clean we like to freshen things up when I arrive very time out fully house train by the way <laughs> That's another story. Actually, I should add that in the dating site. But anyway, that's another story. Yeah, so I'm here. Uh, just give you a quick flick round. Um, I'll use the induction knob. Just give you a spin. Start again. Yeah, so I've got solar generators uh, replenishing me kettle. I have got the other panel. If I connected that up, that would uh, double it. You know whatever it's on there but i don't think i need it i might connect it up i'll see but i got it good in case it's cloudy now there's me uh oops who put them shoes i was tripping over that's my induction of the tea fowl from argos 52 pounds fantastic the kettle that's from broad lane caravans about eight pounds it's an induction kettle so uh going to do a little swing there not that tidy but uh, it'll do me so I've just spun the wrong one seat round for now so it's going to have a quick nose outside yeah greetings folks so uh, this is where I am it's not everyone's cup of tea but it's mine uh, it's 10 pounds a night I don't really want to pay 30 40 pounds a night or all drive you know miles and miles michael miles to go to a campsite this has been about i think about 18 miles from the house so i'll check the clock and, and probably tell you later so uh let me give you a little look round anyway yeah so there is a pond down there which i might show you later on a clip and uh there's my wheels getting on a bit like me but still in good order so that's what she said uh, it's a lovely big field this I think they only have rallies on here and that's the steward over there I've thanked him for uh, running the VAT rally because without the stewards uh, they wouldn't uh, have a rally on so yeah, so there's plenty of room. Looks like somebody's fishing over there. So I'm gonna have my coffee now. Just gonna 
come back round to the mouse around here. I'm going to get my bike out next. I've got an awning. I've got my pop-up. Well, I've got two pop-up uh, gazebos. Plus, I've got a really nice, uh, I call it lily pad um, awning. But I'm on my own. It's not really worth. If I was away for a week, I'd put something up. But, uh, yeah, so that's it. So, uh, it's time. It's time to go back in for me coffee. So we'll see you in a bit, folks. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Save me being on my own. And that's another story. Yeah, greetings, folks. Uh, I'm just having a little ride out on my bike. Uh, before I go, I'm just going to take you around the, around the site. So... Uh, just gonna have a quick, uh, quick look. We've got a lovely pond here, so uh, I'll just have a little mosey round and I'll swing back to the pond. A few folks uh, fishing, which is a bit bumpy. Uh, I will be going tomorrow through here, walking to the bus stop. But uh, I mean, I might try it on the bike actually. But let's go round by the pond. Give you a quick, uh, quick look. I can't, don't want to disturb the boat fishing, but yeah. So that's the pond there. I'll just swing you around so you can see it with a GoPro, and I'll get the pocket on the go. Yeah, so that's the pond. Uh, so it's a lovely sight. So, uh, yeah, I'm going for a little bike ride now. I'm not sure where, but uh, you can join me, folks. So, see you in a minute. Greetings, folks. Well, we're heading to my camper. I can hear the siren in the background. My life story every time I film. But I've put the solar panel out. I've put a bit of wood behind the back. But, uh, anyway, let's go have a little ride around the site so uh, before I head off on a bike ride yeah it's uh, plenty of room here it's a lovely place to come you know for uh, for a rally it's going to swing around I don't want to sort of uh, impose on anybody so uh, yeah so I'm there bit of a loner on my own but I owe uh, again thanks to the steward so uh, all right so let's go um, <laughs> I'll give you a few funny looks the steward I don't know if they recognize them um, one of the uh, campers but uh, that's another story just gonna stop for a minute and uh, just the GoPro a little bit. That's it. Right, this is the lane that. Uh... Okay, folks. Well, I've um, I've done some adjustments. There is another. If you check my channel out, there is another uh, few videos from over here. So uh, I'm not trying not to duplicate what I've done but this is the driveway um, skidding a little bit but uh, it's great having an electric bike because it just gives you that you know, puts you back to when you're about 15 where you can go on your bike when you're a bit older especially with my knee and it's great that I've got the solar but I won't really need to use all the battery on the bike uh, this weekend but I've had a few ideas from other YouTubers. I'm possibly going to get another battery because I have two of everything and uh, that'll double my range. So I'm looking in, into that at the moment. So uh, anyway, let's go up here. Now at the top, I did say when I came here before there was a garden centre. But yeah, I think it used to be, but it's a 
an expensive uh, like country sort of clothes shop sort of place I would go and buy all my clothes if I'd won the lottery but they are friendly staff in there there is a canteen or cafe I don't know if I can afford a cup of coffee in there but at the end of the day what we pay when you got your own I'll just give you a, a quick uh, spin round on the car park uh, it's Brendan Hill Country it's called so uh, they have got toilets there uh, there was a nice lady last time I spoke to I did give her a card uh, to check the channel out I didn't hear anything back that she watched the video or not so she probably didn't uh, anyway that's another story so this is a busy road I'm going on now now the plan is to go about half a mile and then there should be a, a public bridleway according to the OS so uh, let me get out on the road and uh, again thanks for joining us folks I mean there is a just across the road and there is something but uh, if I can get across quite busy yeah greetings folks well I'm uh, on the main road now there is a white line the further along it was quite wide but the end here I was trying to get some, seeing uh, some YouTube tips on safe riding on the road and they tell you to ride in the middle of the road so the cars don't have to sort of uh, skim you but uh, anyway I'm staying to the left uh, could do a bit more power really uh, So in a minute so I'll, I'll get a bit more pair on the uh, bike. I mean there is a turn into Ashton Underhill there which I may go down there and then come back across the field on the way back. Uh, Yeah, so again, thanks for joining us, folks. Uh, I might rig up a GoPro on the back just so you can get a rear view. Hey, yo, <laughs> it's a lorry. Now, this is a, it's going to pull up here. This is a public uh, footpath here. Yeah, I'm just going to come off a sec and uh, join me in a minute, folks. Yeah, hi, folks. Yeah, so this is a a public footpath which I may have a walk on there because it's not far from uh, the uh, from the campsite but uh, I'm going to try and find the bridle way so we'll carry along the road so I'll see you shortly yeah greetings folks uh, back on the road just stopped to do a little adjustment on the gimbal I've given me a little bit of a little bit more power so I do find with this bike that uh, the gearing could do with being a bit higher you know uh, it's a 21 speed but when you're in uh, in top gear uh, I mean, especially when you've got the electric on it's as if you, nothing's there but uh, I have found my knee today has been the best for a long time because uh, I've loaded all the stuff in the camper. In fact, I went to the tip this morning. Uh, I had uh, I, I did mention on another video, but sometimes people don't watch every video. But I had a fireplace which I was selling a marble one, and uh, I was moving a bit of wood in my shed and uh, there was a crash 
and the marble fireplace broke in half. So uh, I haven't got that anymore. So I took that to the tip. Plus, uh, my son James wanted to get rid of some of his old stuff that was at the house, give me a bit more space. So we've done that. Now, according to the uh, OS map, the bridle path shouldn't be too far away. So, uh, so it's the first for me cycling along this road. It is a busy road. Uh, uh, hopefully, keeping to the left. I've got the IVs on, so I should be all right. There is a garage up here which uh, I'm going to stop to uh, make sure I'm not going past the uh, ah, it is here just here yeah so yeah I'll just show you folks well I've just checked and it's end the turning it's a bit further along so we'll see you in a minute folks my life story in it anyway that is another story see you shortly yeah hi folks i've just got the gopro on as uh i go along here uh, certainly some motors uh, i'm keeping to the left so uh i thought that was a sign there but i'll check the os that's a good thing about having the os on the phone but uh ha, this could be it here ah, yo. yeah right yeah greetings folks i'll just show you what it says on the tin So that's the bridle way. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where it goes in that field, but I'm gonna go and have a nose, see how I get on. So I'll see you the other side of that gate over there. Somewhere wherever it is, hang on. Straighten this up. Right, see you in a minute folks. Right, uh, greetings folks, let's see if this is going to work, follow me, follow me folks, follow me folks, follow me, yeah, lovely view over there, so not far from the house and you can come away and you've got you know, a lovely weekend, not a lot of money either so uh yeah it's great so join me a bit further along folks yeah greetings folks I had a little play with the uh pocket uh and so i'm going up here but i'm not going to do too much filming because i don't want to make this video too long so we'll just do some clips as i'm going along here yes yeah, so this is the bridal way which cyclists pedestrians and horses are there to go on here I always say give way to the horses because they haven't got brakes so uh gotta be a bit careful but we'll just go up so far and uh then i'm gonna have a ride down into uh ashton underhill later on so uh i need two hands really along here I'll see how i get on like this it's a lovely, lovely field. I'm just gonna. I've got a problem with the GoPro. I've got it on like a little adjustable thing, but one way it's pointing a bit one way. That might be a bit better. Sorry about the fingerprint if there is one on that. This is a lovely, lovely view over there. I haven't got my Sony with me, but I'll just uh, come off and get a shot with the uh, pocket. Yeah, greetings folks. Uh, it was a bit of a bumpy ride, 
Yeah, it was a bit of a bumpy road across there. Uh, I've come to the end now, and it's saying Bridal Way further on. That looks like a proper road, that. So we'll carry on up there. So I'll, uh, I'll see the other side of the road. So yeah, it was a bit of a hyper speed on before that. So I hope you enjoyed it. See you shortly. Yeah, it's a beautiful view across there. That's just where I've come from, folks. Just do a little pan round. Then I'll just do a little, I can zoom a little bit with a pocket. So we'll just go across as much as I can. But uh, it's, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. A-O, A-O, all okay, all okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure if you'll be able to read it, but it's public bridal way, which Avon way, and the same this way. So that's where I'm going, just past uh, Didcot Farm. So see you in a minute, folks. Just a quick shot of the wheels, all going well, and they're all okay as well. Ayo. Right, sir. Uh, We'll just have a little ride up here. Just going to adjust the uh, GoPro a bit. Yeah, so I'll just go up here and then I'll check the OS. So I think it goes to a public footpath in the end. So uh, it's gone a bit cloudy now, but uh, it's not too bad. Yeah, thanks for joining us folks. This is nice, very nice. Uh, so I should be doing this like video today and then hopefully I'm going to go the next video on after this on the channel will be at the Abbey uh, so looking forward to that that's if I get the bus there tomorrow if I'm say get safely back to the uh, motor and there's a pheasant well two pheasants here just go up uh, they'll probably disappear by the time I get here yeah, yeah it's just in the uh, it's gone in the edge there anyway we'll see if we can follow this bridle way i'm not sure which way it goes so we'll uh, catch you in a minute folks Go. yeah hi folks well i'll come to a sort of dead end there it shows the bridle way going straight through where the farm buildings are but there's a lot of vehicles there but nobody around to ask and uh, I didn't feel comfortable enough of mooching through the building so I'm now heading back uh, I'm going to go to Aston Underhill now so uh, but it's a beautiful day so, uh, and so I hope you're enjoying the uh, just rolling down here <laughs> can't beat a bit of free something for free it's not using the electric but uh, I say the, the electric bikes, I well recommend them. Um, they're great, you know. Uh, just get you around where you wouldn't want to do all that walking. And the good thing about it is that you know you get. I'll get back to the camp. If I'd have been cycling or walking, I'd be worn out. But I'm uh, like a spring chicken. Anyway, I'm going to go back through where I came now. So, uh, it's a shame there was no proper signs up there telling you where to go. So what I'll do is I'll see you now, folks, at the back towards Ashton Underhill. See you in a bit. Bye for now. Well, I've now arrived in Ashton Underhill in one piece. Now, over there is a bus stop, um, which uh, I think you go to Eversham that way. You have to wait on this side of the road. 
to go to Tewkesbury as I found out last time. So what I'm going to do now, I'm nearly ready to end the video, but we're going to have a little ride through Ashton Underhill. So there is a video on the channel of me walking round. Now there is just here on the left, uh, Rails End. It's a CL, which is, a, is the Caravan and Motorhome Club. I'm not in that club, can't afford to be in all of them. So uh, anyway, so if you are in that and you want to come and stay here all year round pretty well, you could probably go there. Just join the club, it saves you. If I wanted to go there, I'd join the club because you get your value, you know, once you've been once, it's that cheap compared to the other sites. Now we've got the church over there there is a monument which folks are sat on so i'm just going to have a little drive drive or ride get it right right down here i'm going to turn around and go back up uh through the village it's a lovely village um you know it's just so nice and to come and have a weekend here it's relaxing um there's another public footpath up there as well, so somewhere where I can uh, probably go over the weekend. Well, I'm going to turn round now here. It's all, all clear. Turn round. Yeah. So, uh, I'll have a blast through the village. As I say, I did say before the date, it hasn't changed. It's still Friday the 20th. Um, Got a tractor coming along now, so I'll just wait for him to to go past. Uh, looks like he's been on the school run because he's got like his daughter in there, but that's another story. Now this week, I don't know why, you know, uh, we can all get down in the dumps, and I was Friday. I was really miserable. Not I'm always miserable, but I was worse. I don't know what uh, what was up with me. Well, this Friday, no, Thursday actually, it's Friday stuff, losing track of times. Yeah, yesterday I was miserable, and Wednesday, I just didn't feel myself. And like I say, we all can have problems, and I just couldn't, I don't know what was causing uh, me issues to make me feel <laughs> any worse than I normally feel. But, uh, I have booked a trip to go to the Channel Island and see my sister in Jersey, which possible by the time this video goes on, I would have been. Uh, but it's very cheap, £66 uh, with Jet 2, I think it's Jet 2 anyway, um, from Birmingham. Uh, you just can't go wrong at that, uh, that price. So uh, I'm looking forward to my trip to the Channel Islands. I will do a few videos from there. There is some on my channel already. If you want to have a look further back, but I'll do um, I'll do some uh, fresh videos on that. So I'm just going up the village. There is a few school kids about, but I'm not really intruding on them, so it should be okay. Uh, so, I'm just going to see what this sign says up here. Oh, playing field, yeah, in fact, that's where I'll probably go to get back. So, I'm just going to go a bit further up, it's a lovely village. There is a pub, I just went past the pub actually, I was tempted to go in and have a squash. Um, but I'm a bit tight then, so I'll forget that one. I've got some squash in the camper. That's my excuse. So, uh, yeah, this is beautiful. So I'm going to swing round here now. There is a bench here. One of my type of benches, which I like. This is Cotton's Lane. So, uh, yeah, it's great. So I'm coming off for now anyway, folks. So we'll see you in a Yeah, greetings, folks. Uh, I've just come through the... Uh, I'll show you actually where I am. I've come through the playing fields, uh, there's a few kids over there, so my motto 
is not to film kids uh, unless it's from a distance like it is now so that's what I'm doing now there is a gap here to get through to the public footpath which I've just managed to get through with a bike so there is a cricket match on here tomorrow so uh, yeah so I'm heading down this way getting for the sun on me yeah so I don't know if I got with my story but anyway I've booked to go to Jersey um, 66 pounds return I mean I couldn't it's one way down to sort of uh, Burnham on sea you know in your camper uh, so to fly to Jer Jersey and back it's worth well, 30 pound one way 36 the other uh, that's it's brilliant so um, so I'm going to go and see my sister, so that should be nice, so I will do a few videos. That's cheered me up a little bit. I've got a trip to Scotland uh, as well, um, so looking forward to that. And I am going to buy the new DJI Mini uh, Pro drone when it comes out. It's out, but you can't get it at the moment, so that'll be great, because I can stick that in the back of the bike, and I can just get it out like here or somewhere sensible and get a few shots so um i have already got a drone but it's a lot bigger it's more you know to carry around so anyway that's another story so i'm heading along here now the groundsman said it's a bit bumpy <laughs> my life story so i'll see how we get on i'm not going to film but i'll see you further on at the campsite see you in a bit yeah just show you where i'm heading anyway across there this is the way I'm going to come when I get the bus but the bus stop is over there we'll have to go to the end and take a left so but it is beautiful here anyway see you in a bit folks yeah greetings folks with the uh, GoPro Hero 10 uh, I'm just switching in, I'm just doing a little bit along here. It's, it's a bit bumpy, but it's, it's great. Uh, I can't describe how nice it no, is it's a bit on the bike, zooming around. Uh, just, go, just going steady. Uh, well, I'll tell you what happened earlier on. The GoPro fell off the bike, but I have put my neck uh, lane on around the handlebars. So it's a top tip, and uh, I looked at it, and the GoPro's gone, but luckily I had a safety net on, so all okay. Hey oh, hey oh, whoa, we've got all the bumps here. Yeah, I was only here a few weeks ago with Olivia, we had a lovely weekend. Uh, my friend Mike, Mike and Judy, uh, they were here. Uh, obviously, I think he's in Spain at the moment. Oh somewhere like that, Corfu, uh, he's got plenty of money, he's always away, but uh, yeah, it's a lovely location, and it has cheered me up a bit coming away, so uh, uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure what caused me to feel a bit down the dumps, uh, you know, these things can happen to anybody, you know, you can get a bit down, um, I'm trying to put me, you know, think what it is. I haven't lost any money. I haven't lost a fiver. I uh, haven't broke anything. Uh, just don't know what caused me to feel a bit. I ain't gonna swear, but you know, feel a bit better now anyway. Especially with the sun out. I'm gonna go back to the camper now and uh, probably have a can of pop and uh, put the bike on charge. It doesn't need it, but I might as well keep it topped up because that's what um, that's what I do with my electric bike my electric bike my electric car always keep it topped up I'm pretty certain I've got to go through a gap here somewhere in a minute yeah yeah just here <laughs> right well I'll come off now because I've got to do a bit of lifting with the bike see you in a bit yeah greetings folks I'm now back at my wheels 
thanks for joining me on this little boy ride. I've enjoyed it. There's one or two more folks turned up now. Uh, so, uh, so it's a lovely location and I should have a nice weekend. So uh, as usual, don't forget to like and subscribe. Appreciate that. Uh, stay safe and well wherever you are in the world. And uh, we'll, let's hope there's peace in Ukraine. So I, I just can't watch the news, but uh, it could be that that's getting me down, I don't know. But anyway, uh, hope you're all okay anyway, and we'll see you on the next video, folks. Bye for now. Bye from me. Bye.